this is the United Kingdom, famous for the Queen, tea and fish and chips. But it was also the country in which trains were invented in 1804. And it only took humans a few decades to get them in tunnels and under cities and that's how metros were born. And today we're gonna talk about one of the oldest ones, the 123 year old Glasgow subway. After London and Budapest, Glasgow was the first city in the world to construct a metro. In the late 19th century, Glasgow grew hugely as the ongoing industrial revolution brought people from the countryside into cities and so it had a massive transportation problem. Cars weren't available to the average people back then and so another solution was needed and found, a metro. The Glasgow District Subway Company began construction of the underground in 1891 and finished on the 14th of December 1896, just months after Budapest's first metro line was completed. This first line was driven from a steam-powered plant outside the system, which powered two cables, one for each direction, that pulled the trains. Many of the first 20 carriages that looked like this were used until 1977. The first and until today only line of the subway consists of a loop with 15 stations on which the subway runs in both directions. The underground crosses the river Clyde twice and the river Kelvin once. All stations were originally built with island platforms. That's why the first trains only had doors on one side. Because the subway was financially unviable, the company sold the underground in 1923 to the city of Glasgow at a devastating loss at only 385,000 British pounds or 21.5 million pounds in today's money. And almost directly after the purchase, the city electrified the subway and after World War II, the trains also changed delivery. After the line was less used in the 1970s and cracks on stations were noticed, a major modernization and renovation began in 1977. Stations were widened or sometimes even completely rebuilt. Merkland Street even closed and a new station to the north was built called Partick. In this time the trains also got doors on both sides because a few of the new stations also got a new layout. Now there were not only single island platforms but also stations with platforms on both sides of the station and one unusual design with one island platform and one platform on the side. The trains were also painted from red to yellow and the subway got a new orange branding and the logo changed to this. After that big renovation, small ongoing ones were made and the color of the trains changed again. In 2005 and 2007, plans were made to extend the subway in the east, south and west because of Glasgow's bid for the 2014 Commonwealth Games, but they never got implemented. The next big change for the subway will be the new driverless trains that will be delivered in 2020. Today, the Glasgow subway is known for its compactness and low ceilings where you could easily bump your head and for it being the only subway that has not been extended yet.